Don't blink, it's your boy, Yank. Welcome to another video, welcome to another show. Hope you're doing well, hope you're having a great day. You're gonna see me looking at my screen a lot, it's because we're streaming the game Dead Tower. So, I'm gonna be streaming and I'm gonna be playing this game. Call me an asshole, call me a douchebag, but call me yours, cause I'm yours. I'm your boy, Ink Vendetta. Today, we're having Bar Street. Uh, oh, I forgot to do a, um, whoa. So you got to do a thumbnail. There you go. YouTuber lifestyle. So, uh, yeah, we're eating this. The reason why I'm going to put cashew is because we had this like a month ago. And it's really good, but it's a bit on the bland side. Now, um, you're going to ask me, what is this, Inky? It's a really nice scallop potato, right? With some cheese. And they put it, and you're supposed to put it in the oven with a bit of cheese on top. And it's called something, in French, we call it... Uh, Right, so it's a scalloped potato with cheese, and you put cheese on every single layer. So it's kind of like a lasagna, but with only cheese and potato. It's amazing. Uh, it, it is amazing. Today, the subject we're talking about is kind of super, super interesting. I'm gonna have one bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I mean, it's great. It's amazing. Wow. Wow, thanks, Mom. My mom, my mom brought me two of these. Look at this bad boy. We're just going to put a little bit. We're going to put a little bit. This is old spice. Oh, not the perfume. The bottle. We have it for years, but we never use it because we don't cook. Alright, alright. Alright, makes sense, makes sense. Nice. It's Cajun Spices. My favorite spices, if you ask me. We bought a adobo um, flavor, which I wanted to try badly, but I, I have these. I have Old Bay seasoning, I have ginger seasoning, I have... Um, what should we call it? I have... Um, Ube, Cajun, Adobo, Ginger, that's it. Mmm. Mmm. A lot better. Mmm. Today, this is a subject. And for that, you should know the date. The date is 19. Mmm. Mm. 19th April 2024. I'm tired. I am. I see my total of 10 days of. <coughs> I see my total of. Mm. Mm. Did I wish today? <coughs> this feels good, dude. To create nonstop. <sighs> nice. Did it? Did it? Snapshot. It was a <laughs> distraction, but. That's what I'm talking about. So, it is a marketing tactic of a genius. I'm talking about Fallout. So, that's why I told you the date. <laughs> About a week ago, a show started. That show was Fallout. Why wow, was Fallout so good? Mmm. 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 Because it was very close. Sorry. It was very close to the the, sh the game. The show was very close to the game. It was very respectful to the game. No. 
I did the playthrough. I saw the playthrough yesterday. Of Fallout 4. <laughs> and, mm, bro. The fact that I started the playthrough. And for a simple reason. I'm sorry I'm not talking a lot. I'm just too good. Mm. I keep on seeing. So the people they, they watch this show. I wanted to play Fallout. So, as you guys know, I have two channels. Really live, vlogs, food eating. Mm. Normal video. And then, of a gaming channel. Clips, games, review, trailer review. Then that has to do with video games. Uh, and, oh shit, that's got a good idea. That's a really good idea. I'm so sorry, guys. And games. Okay, cool. Explain your late. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Playing. Sorry. Nice. Okay. Cool. Oh. Where was I? Yeah. So the, the show brought back a nostalgia. It brought back a love for the Fallout series. And it's a miracle because Fallout 4 Came out eight years ago. We tried the trailer yesterday, so I'm the dates it came out. And in between, Bethesda created Fallout 26, which was aided, hated. So there was a, a lack of love for Bethesda. And then people are complaining because they say Skyrim was amazing. They say Morrowind. Skyrim is uh, the Elder Scroll, which is okay. But then that are mainly known for two uh, games, which is the Elder Scroll and the Fallout after the bathroom. Weird side note: we've been having really good poo lately, very healthy. That's nice, dude. Um. So yeah. So. Bethesda Studio, which is the Fallout Studio, are known for two series mainly. Uh, the the Helder Throne, which is um, Oblivion, Skyrim, Morrowind. I don't know the third one. I didn't, I forgot the third one. But I played it, and it sucks. Anywho, um, Skyrim was really well received, but then Morrowind, which was more of an online, uh, uh, online kind of experience, was really it wasn't received well. Then Fallout 76 wasn't received well. So now it's kind of cool because we're seeing a resurgence of a studio that is beloved. But that does make some good as game, dude. And it's kind of funny because Skyrim, if you look at the mechanics of and the combat, it's very similar. Skyrim is mythical, magical lore. Fallout is post apocalyptic, uh, scavenging, uh, survival, right? And it's kind of cool because. The Fallout is coming back as a show, and they're gonna create Elden Screen, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Elder Scroll, uh, the new one, and the new one is supposed to be like the sixth, which is more of a core experience without the MMO, right? Which is something that people are looking forward to. And not so much about what you do as a studio, and the mistake you made as a studio is how you get back up. 
and they're getting back the fuck up. But that's not the point. The point is, you see, um, they, they they did a really good job with Fallout, and then uh, they they are. <laughs> It's nuts, dude. It's nuts because the, the show did well, so people start playing Fallout. Because if people start playing Fallout, more uh, more videos on YouTube that I'm seeing on my gaming channel. Because my gaming channel is game-related, so a lot of the For You page are game-related. And a lot of people are playing the Fallout 4 again. Now, do I love the Fallout 4? I absolutely love it. The only thing I'm going to say about the Fallout 4 is that... It feels so weird playing it back after watching the show. And I haven't watched the show. But it feels so weird watching it back and being like, dude, having this notage after eight years. And it's almost as if people forgot the Fallout 4. I don't know. I haven't fo checked on the, the Fallout forum. And when, you, when they tell you that the game is 212 hours to finish. Like, holy shit. But we start playing the game nonetheless because I do have some fun memory of Fallout 4. And it's just brilliant marketing. And it's, a, it's just a good time, honestly. Like, you have this you have this game, right, that people love, love, love. And we're excited for the following. And then... The following, <laughs> it sucks. And then a show, a TV show, save your game. And it's not because that's amazing. And you ask me, why is it amazing? Well, in the perfect world, you can make mistakes. In the perfect world, you can take a different path. In the perfect world, you can be, hey, I'm so me. I'm love the, I love the mean. If she didn't love you at your worst, she doesn't deserve you at your best. And just apply here. So, yeah, so. It's kind of cool that we're seeing this. It's kind of cool that we're we're having this amazing sense of you know what a show can save a franchise, it can save a game. Now, I know what you're you're te you're telling me. Oh well, people really well receive the Avatar franchise. You know, look at Fortnite Battle Pass to today, but this Battle Pass the Fortnite the the Avatar character are there, right? Like holy shit, that's kind of cool. But then you realize, slowly but surely, that all of it equates only one thing. And that one thing is kind of super simple. Is it a marketing scheme? Or is it truly a love for the... Um, f so, you got the main actress for Fallout. And people were like, this is so cool. She played a game. And then they really... Um, they, they really market thing. They really market the fact that she played a game, and you were like, okay, well, why are they marketing so much? I was playing for all sorts today for like ten hours, and uh, I was watching Simon Toscan, that I strongly recommend. And something happened. Something appeared. I was watching a video for, is because he's a reaction channel, <laughs> and he was reacting to Coley Bellinger. Apologies. I know what you're saying. Dude, we're in April. That was back in December. Get over it. And yeah, uh, yeah. But I still watched the video today. And he was talking about a media uh, bombing. So what is a media bombing? Is that... <laughs> oh, this is such a, a tough video to make. Not only because I'm tired, not because it's full. But not because I'm full. But because of the subject, immediate bombing is, for example, uh, they, he gave a good example of Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift um, being against the Jets. Because her boyfriend is a sport, a sport guy now. And then what she's going to do, she's going to take a private jet. She's going to take a jet so that every new story and every uh, video that they're appearing for Taylor Swift 
we're gonna be about the Jets. And because all that we're seeing is because of that, again, um, if you look at YouTube, if you look at Google, if you look at Instagram, all of it is per clicks. The more popular it's a video, the more they push it. The more they push it, the more you see it. So if something like a hate video, like, hey, Taylor Swift did this, gets 100,000 vi views, and then there's the same day, there are six videos with over 600,000 views for Taylor Swift and the Jets, people are going to see the Jets that she made. And that brings the subject. That brings the a, 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 a situation. As good as the final theory is, I wish, I really hope, it's a passion project for the game. Um, and it's funny how life works. Life is almost pre predestined. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying I want to give the benefit of a doubt, because otherwise it's just a marketing scheme. Otherwise it's just. Promote another game. Now, fun fact. You don't believe me? Fine. Nobody don't don't believe me. It's okay. Wanna do something crazy? Well then, we said that we're gonna stop after Nineteen. Are continuing. They're producing the four. What's coming soon? The movie, okay, cool. Coincidence? I don't know. So, <laughs> if it isn't, if it's marketing, right? You know what? I'll be completely honest. If it is marketing wise, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you enjoy the show, as long as the show is good. Mm -hmm. I don't care. But then, I made the comment a couple of seconds ago. Life is almost predestined. I was watching a reaction channel again. And the news pop out that The Witcher was being cancelled after five seasons. And they said. The show started to go down after Henry Cavill left. Now, do I agree? I mean, my issue is that Henry, <sighs> Henry Cavill really did a good job. Not Gerald. But the primary thing that happened was People that were interested by the, the, the Witcher were nerds in the beginning. They were nerds. Mm. Maybe then that. The show started with interest for the nerds. Then it got popularity because, again, because of the nerds. And the nerds pushed it to a mainstream audience. Now, the mainstream audience were like, hey, you're done with that. We continue. But at the very core, it wasn't Henry Cavill. It wasn't his performance that saved the show. It was the fact that he gave a shit. Homie read the two the books. Homie saw the movie. The play the games. Umi gave a shit. And he was complaining that they weren't being truthful to the... That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Henry Cavill was complaining that they weren't following the source. And then the writer, which is Andre something, said they never listen. And he came helping and kind of like backing up or... Not my lions. Supporting, supporting Henry. And he was like, no, they never listen. He's right. I mean, that's when stuff, people stop giving a shit. Why am I saying this? Why am I saying all of this? Because I'm hoping Fallout doesn't do the same mistake. Fallout Season 1 is beloved. 
the show is beloved, the game is beloved, there's a new game coming up, there's profit to be made for companies to give us something that respect their fans. On that note, I'm done. This video is done. Love you guys. Peace.